So what I'm making right here is my Alaskan sockeye salmon chowder. Um, let me talk about all the ingredients. Um, I use one cup of celery, one cup or uh, one cup of onions, and two cups of shredded carrots. So the celery and onions, you just cut it to your tolerance. If you want it really small, you can make it. You can make big chunks if you want it. It's really up to you. I like to have them small, diced. Uh, carrots and celery, or I'm sorry, onions and celery, and I like the carrots shredded. So I get two cups of shredded um, carrots there. Um, for the cheese, I take one of those eight ounce blocks of uh, medium cheddar cheese and I shred it down and I have it here. I bring it to room temperature so it kind of melts a little easier. Um, this is actually four yellow gold or gold potatoes. Um, you could add more. I'd say like one potato, one medium sized potato per family member. Um, or at least make it even to the ratio of salmon that you have. Um, I use half a stick of butter or a quarter cup of butter, so half a stick. Quarter cup of flour, all-purpose flour. So it's uh, um, basically four tablespoons each of butter and flour, so you have that ratio. Um, I use, um, it's almost like a half, I take a whole package of fresh dill and cut it up. If not, I'll just use a teaspoon, teaspoon of the dry dill, but I like the fresh dill. It brings a little uh, flavor to, punch to it. Um, garlic. So I use between four to six cloves. It depends on the size of cloves. If they're monster uh, cloves of garlic, I'll use four. If they're smaller ones, I'll use six, but I, I want to have that garlic flavor in there as well. Um, I only use wild-caught salmon, and particularly the, the salmon that I caught from the previous summer. One of the reasons why my kids like this so much is I don't cook this, this is not a summertime meal, this is a wintertime meal, which is pretty much six months of the, of the year here in Alaska. But I usually wait till around Christmas time, New Year's, I think that's why it's special to them. Um, I always do it when it's kind of cold and middle of the winter and it's the perfect, perfect meal for it. So thawed out a couple fillets here, some smaller fillets, or you can have one gigantic fillet uh, and cut that up as well. I dice them to little, little one inch cubes or one, centimeter cubes right here. Um, cream corn, cream style corn. Now I've done this before where I use regular corn and my kids are like, no, no, something's wrong with it, dad. You have to use cream style corn. And my kids love it so much that they have two. Normally you'd only put one can, so it all depends if you don't like it. I mean, if you like the regular corn, that's up to you, but the cream style corn gives it a flavor too because of the creaminess that's in there. Um, so they really love the cream style corn. I use three and a half cups of chicken stock. You could either use some uh, bouillon and mix it to some, with some warm water. I just buy like boxes of this at, at Costco, so I use three and a half cups of chicken stock. And then I measure out three cups of milk. Um, so, I mean, it's easy. Get started, I just use a little bit of oil. Just a little bit. Oh yeah, and you also add salt and pepper. I want to start with, you know, the trifecta right there, the holy trinity of almost any soup. Wait for this to get a little warm. Get that all in the pot there. Now this is just starting right now, just starting to get going. But the thing I haven't added yet, which I'm gonna add, is my half stick of butter some warm butter, so I keep my butter warm so it easily melts in there. Let yeah, that butter melt. Keep it at medium the whole time until the butter melts. Now it's time to make the roux. Now add the flour. All right. Now you don't want the flour to be raw, so you want to cook it up with the vegetables here. Give this about two to three minutes. That flour is thickener. You'll see it starting to cake up on the bottom there, but don't worry. You know what we're gonna do. We're gonna deglaze the pan with some chicken stock here in a minute. But let it cook up here. Your, your vegetables will have this like thick paste looking 
mess on it, that's normal. Whole box of stock, I use it all. And I try to scrape the bits off the bottom. I keep scraping on the bottom so I don't hear that rough sound anymore. That means that all the bits that were stuck on the bottom from the flower are, are off the bottom and incorporated into the actual chowder now. Um, once this comes up to a boil, uh, that's when I'm gonna add the potatoes. I'm gonna uh, dump out the water in these, add the potatoes, salt, pepper, dill, oh shoot, shoot, garlic. Oh well. Yeah, you should have added garlic before you added all this. But you know what? The flavors will be there, it's fine. Of course, of course, when I'm filming, it always happens. As it heats up, the flour does start to thicken a little bit more. So you don't want it to stick on the bottom. So keep that in mind and keep stirring the bottom. You know, every once in a while, it will stick to the bottom, all right? As the heat goes up, it starts to thicken up. You can even see it here. It's a little thicker than it was before. It looked kind of clear before. Now it's a little thicker. All right, I'm gonna drain my potatoes right now. You have them like, these are about inch by inch, whatever, but you could cut them down to they're really small. It's really up to you how you like your potatoes. I kind of like them chunky, that's me. Um, but then you have to be cognizant of how much time it's cooking in there. So the smaller the dice, of course, it's gonna cook much faster. The larger, it's gonna take a little longer. Um, once it gets up to a boil with the potatoes in it, I'd say that's about 10 minutes. It should be kind of al dente soft right then. And that's when you start adding the other ingredients. So look at the boil starting right now. I'm gonna add the potatoes in there. Stir that up. That's nice and thick there. Let's add the dill weed. Again, dillweed's an option. Not everyone's a big fan of dillweed. I'm a huge fan of dillweed when it comes to salmon. There's my two big pinches of salt. See, there's about 20 turns right there. You could count it. Go and rewind and count it. Once it starts boiling, 10 minutes. Then I add my fish. You can even salt the fish. Put salt and pepper on your fish. Why not? All right, starting to boil. Start the timer, 10 minutes. So let me put all this fish in here. Ah, oh, it's about 10 minutes. So I start putting all these chunks of sockeye salmon, red salmon. This is a lot of salmon, because I love salmon. All right, all I'm doing is waiting for this to turn color, which it does in like literally 45 seconds. Once it changes color, like right there, I'm gonna add the rest of it. Cream corn, one can, two cans. Eight ounces of shredded cheddar cheese. Mix it all together. Just gotta get this cheese to melt. Um, now it's pretty much a waiting game. And the only tools that you're gonna need is a spatula or a ladle couple tasting spoons, salt and pepper. Now you just, once it starts to boil and all, you know all the flavors are incorporated, you taste it and you adjust it to the way you like it. Take a potato out and pierce it. See, it's still kind of tough. So to me that means once it gets up to boil, do another 10, 15 minutes, you know. So. I just gotta turn down the heat a little bit. Oh, and the whole time, this uh, once I bring it to boil, I reduce the simmer, so it's back down to medium low. 
All right, so I just want this slow simmer to make sure everything's cooked. Just keep scraping that bottom. That's one of the key things, just don't let that stick to the bottom. And normally you can just get away with one filet of salmon, but I'm doing two. So I tell, hey, hey, some people are trying to film a movie over here. <laughs> are you ready for some salmon chowder? Are you gonna be home? Yes, dad. <laughs> yes, dad. Hi, daughter. Give, 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 Dinner. Me, give me a hug. <laughs> Thank you for cooking. <laughs> Thank you for being my daughter. <laughs>